praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, to Hashem, to Hayashav, to Hashem, the Kachikah, to the Lamed, to the Apostles, the Elders, and Teachers, the Great Millstone, to the right minded men. <coughs> We may not be uh, the first great Muslim, but affiliated and, and follow the same doctrine. Give it to the Prophet the heart and down. From Elder Abu Bizim to the one more. From Rabbi Elder Abu Bizim to, to the one more. Um, salutations to the elect men, women, and children by Asa Rabbi. The predestined to be saved in these last days. Um, yeah, so <laughs> got a few articles here, Lord will it will be edifying. Article from a few days ago, um, from um, the, today as well. So, all roads lead to the MOT for the big, with the speed hook, the nice road trip. Revelation 13 16 to 18. Let's start with that. Revelation 13, 16th chapter. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in your right hand or in your forehead. Now, that's a video from the past today about um, Neuralink, Elon Musk, looking to implant. <coughs> The Neuralink and, and, and the speed hipping and somebody's mind in human trials in the next six months. Lord's will, I'll put that video in the description box. Yeah, there's so much information on what it is. And this is a physical mark. The apostles have broke this down thousands of times. Yeah. And some of it are quick. Paragma. Strong's G, 5480, Kharagma, Kharagma. Stamp in printed mark, mark stamped on the forehead or on the right hand or in either hand or as the Apostle Pahar says, for the book cheeses when they went home. It's not a joke, but it's, you know, some people are just simple. They say, oh yeah, if it's not in your right hand and it's in your left hand, then it's not what Revelation 13 verse 16 says. It is the mark. Yeah, of the beast in its system and they are in setting up the infrastructure as I speak, as we speak. Yeah. The infrastructure is being set up and I'm gonna go into that um Lord's will in a few videos um, and a few articles. Yeah, the scratcher or etching the stamp. Yeah, and what did they do? What what happened to his his captors um the southern and northern kingdom in um when he turns it back to the slave trade, did they not um brand you? Yeah, to show ownership. What happened in Greece? Did they not brand you to show ownership? I've done videos over it before. Yeah. Going to the sixth breakdown of the word. Yeah. Should say collapse, yeah. yeah. A pale or stake or palisade, I've got and the apostles, elders and teachers have gone into this um many times. It's the um imp it's the instrument that's used to um, implant the actual sea hip, yeah? the um, grain of rice, which is about the size of a grain of rice. Right? It's the actual instrument, a palisade, a pail, or a stake. Let's get images up. Here, it's going to be a quick piece, Rafa. To write with reference to the form of the letters, and each one of these um, C hips, the M O T to the B's, will have a identifying mark on them. Yeah, to show ownership of which elite clan or group or um, group of individuals you belong to. Yeah, or family you belong to. So that's that. 
is a physical mark. This is not people in a white room. This is not an embargo. Yeah, it clearly says it here. All right, and cause of all. What does all mean? All, everyone, except for the elect clearly, of course. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So that um, insignificant people, homeless people, um, billionaires. Yeah, except you know, probably not the elite. Well, they ain't gonna accept it. Rich and poor, you know, it's their basic term. You know, it's rich, rich people and poor people, everyone, free and bond. The, um, people who who consider themselves free, they all say, you know, for an example of that, Koss has gone into this before as well. Your birth certificate. That's a um, a form of um, identification that we are slaves. Yeah, licenses. All right, bondmen. Um, so free and bond. Bond of those people in prison. They will have to accept it yeah, if they're not part of the elect. Yeah. All right. And go down to 17. And that no man, as man, woman, and child, might buy or sell save he. So he that, ha that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And it goes into the number. So the punishment you can find in Revelation 14 and 9. 10. If you accept that for a little short period, for a short season, with Esau Eden. You, Rabbi Shemir Shai is going to um, bench you. It's as simple as that. Yeah, You're going to be tormented with fire and brimstone. Yeah, Revelation 9 and 10 goes into it. Revelation 16 as well, 16 and 2 goes into the punishment. Punishment in Revelation 19 as well. And the first went and poured, 16 and 2. Um, Revelation 16 and 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore, you know, cancerous pus, upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped the image. The image being the system and the upcoming new world order, which they are slowly, or not even slowly, anymore, just implementing as it speaks. Like this article goes into it here. This is, this is the beginning of the infrastructure. Or not the beginning, just um, a process of the infrastructure that part of the system being set up which has virtually got it set up anyway yeah. lobbyists call on the US government to develop digital infrastructure see for security reasons yeah, this is just a um, short gradual incremental step small steps to take it so when the the financial system crashes and it will yeah and then they bring out the solution was it Hay Hegelian dialectic problem reaction solution yeah. I'm just going to just read it briefly and we'll move on to the next article. Lord will, if you want to read it, I'll put this article in the description box. A group of 10 advocacy organizations, including the Identity Theft Research Center and the Better Identity Coalition, have called on Congress to pass the Improving Digital Identity Act of 2022, mandating the government to develop federal digital ID infrastructure. The bill has advanced through committees in both houses, both uh, both the House and Senate, but is not yet put to a vote. And it will be passed. Yeah, it will be passed. And just like the online safety bill in England, that's going to be passed too, because they are com completely on the mark to uh, setting up the the NWA. Yeah, another article. Here, you know. We're going to be short anyway. Um, it's a bit off topic, but the real environmental disaster. Toxic forever chemicals everywhere, even babies, umbilical cords. <laughs> Matthew 24. Matthew 24, no flesh shall be saved till the elect shall be found. Matthew 24 and 23. Now, except those days be short, should be shortened, there should be no flesh to be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And this is why we pray to Yahweh Shemir Shai to have mercy upon us, that we can see that the prophecies are popping off, as the apostle says, and we can see it. You know, I've only understood the truth for the past two or three years. I can see it. I can see it plain as day. 
you know, the vision he gets from the point of camera, but the end it shows Steve Habakkuk's second chapter, I think it's the third verse. You know, and these words are written in red. I know I'm going a bit fast, but you know, try and keep up. <laughs> these words are written in red, um, it means the words of Yahweh Shai. Um, you know, quick explanation, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, not Jehovah, not God, it's his true name Yahweh. Meaning he is he exists. Ya meaning he. Hawa meaning exists or he or is like writer. Um Yahweh Shai um, means he he delivers, he saves. He's coming to save his elect as Matthew thirty to thirty one goes into it. Yeah, Yahweh Shai is his name, Yahweh meaning Shai meaning he is deliverer or he saves, yeah. Because he's coming to save his elect as the um the scriptures have said that's just one um, scripture. There's many, many more. And when you get back onto the topic at hand, Esau setting up his system. <coughs> okay. Um, oh, excuse me, ask you. Let me slow down now. Where are we? So he's going on to the Polish position. EU fails to agree on. Russian oil price cap as full band looms, you see. So this is causing division. Um Matthew twelve and twenty-five. Um Luke sorry, not Mark three and twenty-five, uh, three and six. Yeah. House divided cannot stand. Um Revelation seventeen sixteen, that they shall hate the whore. Because it was America, Babylon the Great, that put pressure on the EU to um sanction Russia. But now over here in Europe and in the UK, people are feeling it. You know, high prices, the cost of living, people are feeling it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like this woman, I read an article earlier today or flicked through, and she said, oh, um, I, even though I've cut down my gas prices um, for the electric and gas, they've gone up three times. You know, even though she's cut down on the electric and gas. So people are feeling it, man. Oh, call hello, Yarba this goes into um, finished article from one of the brothers. It's Ohio, Idaho. I put this look, and this is where the CBDC. I mean, was it Klaus Schwab the other day, or seen some videos on it? Um, Klaus Schwab saying that um, China's the the perfect role model. Yeah. So, and this is what's happening over there now. Um, I'll, I'll read this quick quick few paragraphs China reveals digital yuan that's their currency with expiry date where people are forced to spend and not allowed to save China is experimenting with digital money with an expiration date meaning the citizens will be forced to spend and not save this so what that means is they're going to program it so they'll give you digital money for a certain amount of time universal basic income or, or some form of income and then We'll program it to um, to to expire. Uh, so, so say from the first to the thirty first or the thirtieth. It'll ex so they'll give it on the first. It'll expire on the thirtieth or whatever date they choose. Yeah, the same thing happened to a um, a sister's friend. You know, sisters in the world, but a friend in Denmark. We we're trialing this in Denmark about two years ago. All right, where people they were given people on benefits or whatever. They were given. Um, um, a UBI, but that UBI was um, programmed to expire on a certain date. Yeah, so, like I've said, and like the apostles have said, what they do is gradualism. And we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, so we shouldn't be ignorant. But look at that. A bit all over the place, but I've had a few articles you know, where I went through. Um, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices.